This video press kit has been prepared by ADSB Technologies to help you better understand the concept of the ADSB Link Augmentation System, or ALAS. Part one of the presentation will explain the basic concepts. Part two will describe our vision for the future of global air traffic management with ALAS. Part three will provide some background on ADSB technologies and Global Star. The press kit also includes additional media-ready examples of logos, graphics, and high-resolution video. Effective air traffic management requires that controllers always know where the aircraft are. For more than 50 years, radar has been the dominant air traffic control surveillance technology. Radar works by bouncing radio waves off of the aircraft and interpreting the return. Radars are expensive to build and maintain and their accuracy and efficiency are sometimes affected by environmental factors such as rain and dust. However, with ADS-B, the aircraft becomes a more active participant in the surveillance process. First, the aircraft gets its position from a navigation constellation like GPS or Galileo. Then it appends additional information, such as the aircraft's flight number and status to this information, and transmits this payload of information to any ground station or other aircraft equipped to receive it. It does this once each second. Atmospheric conditions and range have little effect on the accuracy of the signal. Thus, aircraft can be tracked as accurately as 200 miles as they can be at 20 miles with ADS-B. Unfortunately, ADS-B shares one problem with radar. They are both line-of-sight technologies and their maximum range can be limited by the horizon or by obstacles. ALAS eliminates the line of sight problem by capturing the uncorrupted 1090 megahertz extended squitter payload or 978 megahertz UAT payload and then sending it to the air traffic control automation center via a very simple and reliable satellite link. ALAS is quite capable of providing an aircraft's exact ADS-B position every second while flying at 100 feet off the water in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. ALAS is the next step in the evolution of global air traffic services and an entirely new business plan for satellite service industry. Global Star satellites employ relatively simple and reliable bent pipe technology, wherein all of the most complex components of a space-based ADSB system could remain on the ground, where any subsequent repairs, upgrades, or modular improvements to the system could be performed easily and in less time. Bent pipe architecture uses multiple ground stations, a distinct advantage since many of these stations can be located such that they are very accessible to air route traffic control centers, thus maintaining very low end-to-end -end latency and ensuring greater network security and survivability. The transmission from this transceiver, the, the transmit station, the GBT, ground-based transceiver, would go to the satellite back to the aircraft, back from the aircraft up to the satellite, back to the ground, and be transmitted to the ARTCC in less than one second, every second. Global Star's ability to work with multiple ground stations means that a nation can elect to monitor its own airspace by using a gateway facility located within its own territory, a factor that will promote global harmonization and early adoption of ADSB around the world. Most countries will have a straight link. An aircraft is within their territory, a satellite is overhead, the aircraft will transmit to the satellite the satellite will send the signal to a gateway within that country's borders. This also means that nations that have not yet committed to ADSB terrestrial infrastructure will now have the option of going directly to a more cost-effective space-based system. A unique aspect of ALAS is that um, it, it takes a sample of, a, of a, an existing ADSB transmission from the aircraft completely approved by ICAO. Uh, it complies with all, all the standards, the FAA standards, the RTCA guidelines. It takes a sample of that approved signal and reformats it so that it can be transmitted over a satellite. And then it reformats it back to its original state 
on the ground. And at that point, we can insert it into the, into the NAS, uh, where it can be tracked by a controller, or it can be inserted into a company proprietary system. It could be uh, an airline's system. It can be used by any number of, of different users. For example, it could be used by a corporation to track its entire fleet. Because ALAS uses a very sophisticated CDMA transmission system between the aircraft and the satellites, and Global Star can also apply proprietary encoding to its satellite to gateway link, ALAS may actually be one of the most secure air traffic control surveillance systems available today. And perhaps the best thing about ALAS is that it's already here, well before the 2020 full introduction date of ADSB in the National Airspace System. ALAS is already being tested in some of the most rugged terrain in North America, the deep mountain passes of Alaska. The actual data you see here was sent via ALAS to our ADSB laboratory, more than 130 miles away. The canyon we're flying through is surrounded by 5,000 foot mountains. Obviously, there is no way to use either radar or line of sight ADSB in these conditions. ALAS accuracy is not affected by range, terrain, or the number and proximity of aircraft in the vicinity. This test data demonstrates the efficiency of the system while tracking multiple targets in rough terrain. The aircraft pass just 300 feet from each other. And here's an example of close formation. Perhaps the best test of effective latency and accuracy is to compare the data simultaneously derived from one aircraft via two or more data transmission methods. ALAS is ready today. ALAS is flexible, it is efficient, it is safe, and it will definitely be a significant enhancement to aviation technology today and in the future.